What's up, guys? <clears throat> All right, so it's uh, been a little over 48 hours since my uh, knee surgery. Um, all went well. Uh, but we left off. Uh, we're going to make the stadium game day bag. Um, what was it, Monday night? And it got really late. It took a lot longer to uh, prep that thing out than I... It was up, I was up, we were up to like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I had surgery at a bit at the hospital at 7.30, so, anyways, I'm feeling a little better, still on some medication for the pain and stuff, but, uh, let's knock this thing out, remember it was for a family member coming up on Saturday for a football game, so I gotta get this thing done, and, uh, so I've been laid up for the past two days, so we gotta, we gotta get this going, so, all right, from what I remember when we left off, uh, we were going to sew this up with uh, clear mono thread. And uh, so I already have two bobbins made up. And now I'm just going to thread the machine real quick. And yeah, so let's do that. Um, just while we're here. I used pink thread last time. I forget what I was doing on here. So, we'll put this mono through here real quick. And I'm going to be using this brother... Uh, uh, the brother PQ1500SL for this particular bag. I wanted... I haven't... I've done... The Astrea on this bag, as I've mentioned before, um, I just didn't have permission to sew it out. So I figured I would sew out a bag on it that, on a pattern that it's not anybody's pattern, so they can't say anything about sewing it out online. It's just a standard six by 12 inch ruler pattern, <laughs> nothing fancy. But it will be my first time sewing out uh, a whole bag using clear, clear mono line. So this should be fun. All right. Don't worry, you won't be looking at this the whole time. I'll get you guys set up where the camera's looking at at least a needle or something. I thought this camera would let me shoot wide angle on YouTube Live, but it's not letting me, so I don't get stuck with this kind of narrow kind of thing here. All right, so that's threaded. Let's see here. Hopefully we don't have, I have, oh, that's what I need to do. I need to turn on my, uh, which one? Oh, it figures we used black thread last time. I hate black thread. Ugh. I'm gonna have to adjust the crap out of this bobbin tension. Come on. Sorry guys, I got fat fingers. I can't get my hand in here to do this all the time. Yes, we use black thread. So, some of y'all know black threads have a, they can run thicker, even though they might be the same weight. Um, they can run thicker due to the dyes in the color. Um, even though this mono isn't a 69, it's a 52 pound or a 52 weight or whatever they call it. Uh, and this is a, this is a Tech 70. So, this might take some, a little bit of adjusting. Let's see here, let me see if I can get you guys back. So, I'm gonna put this guy in. 
Let's see where we're at here. It's already not liking it. I'm okay. What's going on here? Now it's gonna be a pain in the butt. <laughs> if any of y'all like hate fishing and tying knots, you'll probably hate threading this mono line too. All right. So we're gonna do our test. Oh no. That was a horrible test, y'all. I'm not even gonna chase that one. I'll find it later. Two of these. That was horrible. Sorry about that. All right, let's do this again. That was not supposed to happen. All right, so we already know we have to loosen this up. So. turn mm -mm. not today Felicia Loosen up a little more that's way too loose still pretty loose All right, so it's hanging too tight. So where are we at here? Lefty Lucy. We'll go back a smidge. Come on, are you serious? Still a little too snug. I need to probably get another bobbin housing. Just for this mono stuff. I have I don't use it that much, so Alright. It's going down. I'm okay with that. I'm not going to mess with that anymore right now. So let's uh, just snip that off. Get that back in here. Here it pop. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see if we can't pull this bobbin through. Do a quick just do a quick test real quick. Just uh 
So we use a waterproof canvas, a little bit of clear vinyl. So let's, uh, hmm, bare pieces of scrap. I'm sure I do somewhere. Um, let's just try this real quick. Let's see if they'll even take it. They're not even take it. And this is a 16 gauge needle. Um, come on, man. And again, I have their walking foot on here. I didn't use a walking foot on the Australia bag, but. Probably should have lengthened the stitch though. Lengthen the stitch to five. Looks good. Actually, it looks really good. All the knots seem to be where they're supposed to be at. Although you can kind of see through it, obviously. I wonder if a 14 needle would have been better. But I don't think we'll have any issues with that because, okay, let's try something else. I don't know if you guys can. See, I started at a three and went to a five. I don't know if that's focusing or not. I don't know. Here, hold on. Let me turn my iPad so I can hear you guys if you guys are chatting, asking questions. Hang on. I, uh, <clears throat> yes, oh, well, it's a it's a used machine, but I picked it up because I just have a feeling. Again, I've had it for a few a few months. I haven't. I've only used it once to on the Australia bag. Um, and yes, I am recovering, y'all. I'm not putting pressure on my knee. I'm just sitting in a chair. I'm right footed, so that's uh, my pedal foot. So let's, um, I promise you I would not do anything to hurt myself. I am mad at myself that I'm not going to that so magical thing in Orlando this weekend. Kind of bummed out about that. I was really looking forward to it. But that's all right.
Looks kind of weird, clear on clear. Maybe, I'm gonna try, here, hold on. Yeah, we'll just do, uh, fold it over the waterproof canvas. So there's four layers here. You guys can see that. I like it. It's different, something different. All right, so I think we can, uh, I think our tensions are good. I think we can get the sewing now. Knock out these crossbody connectors. Hmm. I guess that's about an eighth of an inch. I've never used this walking foot, so I'm trying to get a guesstimate of where eighth of an inch at with this thing. I guess it's on the edge of that foot there. Let me try that. Thank you. 
Tell you what, the walking foot really keeps it pretty straight. I like it on, oops, the top is in. <laughs> Hope you guys had a good week so far. Tomorrow's Friday, y'all. Friday. Nothing special for me, but same stuff. <laughs> these real quick why I have them here I'm not worried about clipping them I just don't want that line falling out oh you know what it'll probably be fine all right so there we go we got our those connectors what do we want to do next prep our zipper a bit wavy, but let's see here. We want to close to the left. We want this to be eleven inches. First, we'll cut off this end here, and then we want, what do we want, 11 inches, I think, yeah, so we're going to use like a half inch seam allowance, so let's go to here. Those inch and a half squares we cut on that cotton, if you guys remember, if you were viewing that day, all um, out of the corners. So we're just gonna fold these in on each other. I suppose you could press these two if you want. I'm not. Just kind of kind of pick how you want it to go. I guess we can go with the little bit of white and teal on top. I will just stitch this. 
like an eight inch, eight inch seam allowance. Too bad that would have definitely moved on me. Um, oh, where's the box at? Sorry, guys. Try this again. I just slipped off that zipper. Let's how this go. Halfway in the middle, maybe. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. Yeah, that's happened. I'm not used to that walking foot being so far back there. I can't grab nothing. I'm not even sure if you have to back stitch here. thread so I'm gonna make one more pass <laughs> just to be on the safe side y'all I don't care See them looking at looking at it that closely to be honest with you. It's 
So that's the stuff with this mono line, is it? It likes to... Just to make sure it doesn't come out. It's not like your ever's threaded, just kind of like, this stuff will like stay straight. All right, looks good. And the other side. This is looking like it's gonna be all white. Oh, we can almost get it the same. The same. If you got a little bit of fraying on your zipper, you can always just knock it back a little bit with a lighter. You'd be surprised how lighters come in handy when you're sewing. I didn't think of it like eh. cloth, cloth, fire. This side went much better. Trim this up. Feel that plaster, there's so much plastic sticking out. Holy crap. That should be good. Alright, what we got next? What we got next? <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been ripping out a lot more stitches lately for sure. This got this. We have enough pins left. I don't know if we have enough pins left. They're all holding that strap together. Like 500 pins. 
Well, not pins, I say, but uh, clips. Here, one half here. All right, so we're going to take our exterior. You all see, take our exterior. I should really hit this with a blow dryer, kind of smooth out that. So we're all lined up here, looking good. So there isn't a really a wrong side to the vinyl because that's gonna be in the middle. So now we're gonna take, if you ever use waterproof canvas, you have like a, the back side, which is like a PVC coating, like almost a plastic. It's kind of, to me, it looks duller. Some people might say it looks shinier. I don't know. But you can definitely see a difference. So. This is your right side. It looks more of a, of a texture versus the back is a little smoother, which is the wrong side. So. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to cut up my corners. What a ding dong. Oh my God. See, two o'clock in the morning, you start forgetting all kinds of stuff. All right, well, so for, for those of you who didn't tune into that <laughs> live preparation, which was supposed to be a sew out, which didn't happen. We'll just do that real quick right here. And uh, do it on the back. And a half right here. Um, And this is like my Tandy leather kind of ink refill that I don't use. I just use the refill. It's super simple. Just like so. So you don't have to buy, you don't have to buy the pen y'all. Just buy the refills. And uh, maybe all right. Does it come with a little, uh, uh, a little rubber cap right here? Enough. Um, right. I normally use my rotary cutters, but since we're right here, I'm just going to use my these scissors.
Sorry, I can get a little carried away with trying to get this stuff messed up. Yeah, yeah, double sided tape works well with that stuff too. For sure. All right, wrong sides, right sides together, but with the vinyl sandwiched in between. All right. Probably could do all three layers at the same time. It's totally fine. I am just. Why is all wonky? Did I cut it straight? You tend to question yourself. <laughs> there we go. Let's do it like that. Alright, it's probably clip overload, y'all, but it's okay. It's okay. Same allowance. Again, we're using a number 52 clear mono. And actually, I do have a magnet that I might just set up here. Might as well, right? Straighter the better. What the heck? Sometimes I'll measure out and draw a line for my seam allowance, but sometimes I'm not. So I'm going to start in a little bit and then backstitch. Are you guys okay with this angle here? Or do you want to like look towards the front? Let me know. I can start with my needle down. So this is... One layer waterproof canvas, one layer uh, 20 gauge vinyl, and a cotton that is fused with woven fuse one and Decaville light. short on my stitches too. I didn't realize I was still at a five. I'm gonna go to a three and a half.
Hmm. I normally don't do this, y'all, but I'm going to do it this time. Just because I don't like where it's... I, I didn't backstitch far enough, I don't think. I don't want to get it. fishing line mono they leave these points and they don't like Pull our vinyl and get our exterior interior wrong sides together for our top stitch. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. I think I just got some black stuff on this helmet. I'm mad. Thanks for being patient with me. All right, back. Now we're gonna top stitch this guy. Nice solid finger press. This would have been a perfect time to use that flip down thing that I have on my Juki, but I don't have it all set up. Well, I have the thing set up, but I don't have. Oh man, what do I want to do here? Eighth of an inch? Yeah. Pretty good. Little down. On my tail. Do my tail. Again, I don't know if I have to, but I always love holding these tails. For when I back stitch. So I don't get 
that bird's nest. Uh oh. All right, I'm gonna change my top stitch into a five. <laughs> now that I only just back stitch right there, thank goodness. And I love how this brother has the option to stop with the needle down. That's so cool. I love it. Stay consistent with it, I suppose. Yeah, it's more of a quarter inch versus an eighth, but I can look at that. You guys can see it. I don't know how well that focuses. I don't know. I'm in the back side, obviously. Sorry, the lighting is horrible over here. That looks good. To the other side now. Yeah. Well, I just noticed that if I don't hold the, the tails, I feel like I get that bird's nest, which I guess it doesn't matter if it's on like the inside, but like if I was doing it like on a, on a, a strap end or something like oh, it looks so ugly all right so again just repeat the process you're gonna sandwich right sides together but you kind of have the clear vinyl in the middle all right so I'm only doing them in separate pieces so they don't slide on me. Um, just find it's a little bit easier. Keep everything together if you got them all like kind of pinched close together, but in different layers. So that waterproof canvas can get kind of, you know, I don't know if the word's slippery, but whatever all right another half inch so pull out this little magnet thingamajiggy just put it on a half inch mark take off our shoe 
because I'm so barefooted. <laughs> Sorry. I'm missing the tail. Again, then change your stitch length. We'll go back to a, a three and a half. Nice three and a half inch, three and a half <laughs> inch, three and a half stitch length. All right, again, we're gonna finger press these back with clean hands this time, so we're not marking up any of the materials. change our stitch length and that worked out perfect and I got that whole helmet in there sweet go back out to a five clean up our workspace Yes, I uh, I leave my shoe, I leave my flip flop or shoe on my left foot, but I take off my right foot, and that's the foot I use for my pedal. And I also sew with my pedal in reverse, so I sew heel down, heel to the ground instead of toe. If that makes any sense to you guys. So I guess a lot of people would press with their foot this way. I use my heel and go backwards. I find I have more con more control over the amount of pressure I put down as far as so the speed of the machine. If you are having trouble with your machines and the speed, try that first, seriously. Just turn your pedal around and use your heel instead of your toe. All right, man, it's gone. Stitch length is back out to five. We're gonna try to We'll try to keep this one at the eighth of an inch. Well, no, maybe not an eighth, I don't know. Maybe a 
roughly the same. <laughs> it's gonna be roughly the same. It just wants to. Oh, Killa. Slow down. Can't tell if that's a skip stitch or not. I don't think so. It's hard to tell with it being clear, but it's looking good. There may be a skip stitch, but I'm finding it really hard to see. I think overall, it looks good. It looks like I might have went through, I don't know. I didn't use any tape on this or any glue. Unless it was from uh, just a, I don't know. All right, anyways. All right, so now we got that, we got that. Let's, uh, should we sew the strap? We'll put the bag together. Let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. Wish I had better lighting for y'all. Let me... Did I help out anything? Did that brighten anything up? I feel like it's getting so dark over in this corner here. Is that a lot more light? I'm also using the front facing camera or no, the rear facing camera, like the selfie cam. So I don't know if that focus is as good. And the more I look at this thing, I think it's a, miss, it's a skip stitch. It doesn't look bad. Oh, man. Uh, what are we doing now? Right, we'll save the strap for last. All right, let's go. We'll just put this on. All right, which one do we want to be the front of the bag? I want this one to be the front of the bag. So I want this to zip to the left to clip. 
close. So, we're going to clip this guy. Just center it up about the same distance, about that seam allowance. Ouch. Man, I wonder if I should have ironed this. Uh, Mm-hmm. I don't want this to be all wavy. I don't think it will be. Should I give it a quick iron? I should probably change out my walking foot though for a narrow foot. Ooh, cha-cha-cha-cha. back to a three and a half inch stitch allowance stitch allowance three and a half inch uh whatchamacallit three and a half millimeter stitch sorry to working with such a big old walking foot. It's so hard. Shoot. Okay, this is supposed to be, was it a quarter inch? An eighth of an inch? Is that how it do my zippers. Oh my god. I don't know if this is gonna work. Huh. Sorry y'all. I'm having a brain fart. Wonder if I should pop in my narrow foot. Wait a minute, because that's, that seems right. Hmm, let me check my other bag, hang on. three-eighths of an inch. I'm 
Okay, Madonna, thanks for hanging out. This bag will be finished for you. Just watch tomorrow, I promise. I'm just I'm trying to remember my number five zippers. And if it was a three eighths, I think it's three eighths for a number five zipper. Should probably change out my foot. So I have these two other feet for it. Like a super narrow and just kind of a double kind of ooh, it's good for like going up hills and stuff. Hills. Um humps and stuff. I just I can't remember. I guess I guess it don't matter, I don't know. All right, let's give it a shot. We're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna do This is gonna be so wonky. serious shit I don't know what's happening here we gonna mess this up like that Fudge, I said fudge, y'all, oh, I said fudge. We were just straight up beating that same hole.
get stuck. I have my, uh, dig it kind of thin. start further underneath it. That might help out. Troubleshooting, y'all. Troubleshooting. Backspace, backspace, backstitch. All right. I'm really concerned. I mean, we're catching it. Should be a lot closer to it. Hmm. I have to do this, guys. Sorry. I have to change this foot. I don't think. Because when you flip this over... All right, so we're gonna change the foot real quick. It's gonna be tough to make a comeback from, guys. This vinyl is pretty banged up. <laughs> and it's clear, so you might see this on the outside of that bag. I'll have to try to hit the same holes. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Not fun, not fun. First of all, let me get it.
This thing is a monster. It's so heavy, too. Alright, so... If I go with this one... Definitely get much closer. Wait a minute. Is this the right foot for this one? Oh my god. What's going on here? All right, let's try this again. Without the walking foot. I don't even think this is even a zipper foot. Which is just a, I don't know, a foot that came with the machine, I guess. Chances of hitting the same hole. Slim to none, y'all. I think the whole idea is we wanted to be closer to three eighths, if I remember correctly. And again, without that walking foot, man, changes the whole everything. Why would I do this? Why would I even do this on TV? On TV, on live. I'm so dumb. So screwed this up. That was an accident. That ain't going over though. That's horrible. 
Horrible, man. Horrible. I suppose you can always cut it. It's kind of disappointing. Kind of disappointing, Benjamin. Kind of disappointing. So now switching to five, I don't want to make money, make it look stupider. stopping down anymore. What the hell to that? Oh, Super duper bad, but piss me off. Ouch. Oh, Maybe it's the medication. I'm blaming on the medication. <laughs> you want to see the hot mess. Well, it's not really a hot mess. I mean, it's coming together. I mean, this is only my third one, and like I said, I haven't made it in a while, so it's starting to come back to me. So I think I want to do this. I want to do right sides together, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is gonna flip over in a top stitch. Right, 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 right. But it's a crossbody. This is where we gotta put in our straps. Connectors. Can't forget about these. Hmm, 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 hmm. So with that being said, Figures are like 
like two different shades of oranges. Should I rivet these to the outside of the bag, maybe? I could fold these in to give them a clean edge. And maybe two rivets. To the outside. How should we do these? How should we do these? Because normally we'll just tag them down there. That's what I'll do. That's my tape measure at. I'm gonna enter a half in. It's not even that much of a hump. So wack. So wack. It's driving me insane. Again, folks, do not use my videos for tutorials. 
as I just kind of wing it. Faux show. That's how I do it. Inch and a half. I may never sew with this stuff again. <laughs> this stuff, man. I don't even know if it's this stuff. It's probably me, but whatever. Come on. Oh. 
<coughs> All right, this is what I'm going to say. It's not even a big hump, y'all. I don't know why. This, I don't recall this ever happening. I have a feeling I'll be making another one of these tomorrow. My thread. This bag is so horrible. Stitching is ridiculous. This walking foot. I'm gonna switch it out. What's up, dude?
Let's see here. Let's see here. Which way should we go? Should we go this way? Dolphins and Patriots. It's Dolphins, Patriots and Chiefs, it's the same person, same customer. Oh. So I got them both at like the same time. Yo, I'm live on YouTube, bro. Oh, so chill. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. definitely sewed a lot better without getting caught up. Too shabby. Well, that's that. I just gotta put my logos and stuff in it. Which I can't press pause on this live. This sucks. Oh, man. Where's my stuff at? You should go TikTok live. I can't go TikTok live because I don't have a thousand followers. Oh. Pretty sure that's how many you have to have. Yeah. To go live with a talk. Yep, and I'm so banned. You're banned? Yeah. Did you know my latest video got the community guidelines violation? Yeah, you told me that. I'm still wondering how. Uh, I sent a bunch of emails and asked why. They never responded back to me. Have you been anywhere? TikTok videos. I know, it never happened to me. I didn't think it would happen, I don't know. Um. Alright. Ouch. Hmm, Pit's gonna lose this week. Oh, 
right, guys, I forgot to get my, uh, my stuff here. Heat transfer vinyl um, logos. Inside the bag. So I'm not guaranteeing this is a straight cut, so I'm just kind of uh, lining up. To where it looks straight. Oh, guys, yeah, this is sublimation. Put a iron on backing on it. <gasps> hey. Yeah. Oh my. So. I only use part of this logo. Good. And now we'll take off. 
off. Not that much off the bottom. That looks kind of crooked. Man, I think it's this corner right here. I hate this. Maybe I'm just nitpicking too much. Why is it crooked? Whatever, this is as good as it's gonna get. Be falling, boy. All right, pull out a little, a little uh, iron duty. I need uh and grab me um that oh no it's right here never mind sorry it was over there yeah I'm up working all right. I need some words of encouragement. I'm starting an embroidery business, but I never feel my stuff is good enough to sell. Well, you gotta quit thinking like that, that's for sure. Um, you never know until you get your stuff out there. So, you know if you made something good, you know what I'm saying? So, price it how you feel it's worth. Don't underprice, don't undervalue your work. And put it out there. Put it on the market, Destiny. 
What's I mean? What's the what's the worst gonna happen? It doesn't sell. Okay, big deal. Doesn't sell. Try something else. Um, a different design, a different color, a different, you know, whatever. So this is the front of the bag. So I want to put put that right there. I'm going to put this on both the same size. Yeah, I'm going to put Bevy and Co. at the top. And then Benjamin Bevel Aqua Handmade underneath it. Like so. side because that's getting pretty deep I'll put the handmade one here it's pretty centered Might help if I take the backing off, ding dong. Yippee guy. That wouldn't have worked well. Alright. Yeah, I think attention to detail is kind of a big deal. I kind of messed up a little bit on this bag, but I'm okay with it. It's not like it's um, Make sure you don't hit that vinyl. Try not to hit that mono thread either. I don't know how that thread will hold up to this heat. So, you don't wanna melt your thread. And this is just my Cricut heat transfer vinyl cut. 
of my logo that I put on the other side. A lot of times I put this one in a pocket, interior zip pocket, but this bag doesn't have those. So. Too hot. One's longer than the other. Oh, man. All right, y'all. Two more things to sew and we're done. But I'm gonna take a bathroom break. Can I ask for your opinion then? Yes, hold on, buddy. We're gonna close up this bag and then we're gonna um, sew the strap. And then we should be done with this, with this make, the stadium bag. But we're gonna take a bathroom break.
Look, then he made another one in 2006 when he gets older and he does not have all his hair oh. from when he was younger. All right, guys. Yeah, I can't, I can't sleep until I get this bag done. <laughs> they're, they're coming early Saturday and I gotta have this ready. I don't want to stress about it. All right, so. Zip our bag. Flip it. Wrong sides or right sides together. I'm sorry. Clip our corners. Oops. I do need to start sewing my logos in, but uh, I just haven't. Why do I keep turning off my LED? Rocky Four. What's that? You want help separating that stuff, like the magnet from the pad and stuff? If you want to, um... So, we are all clipped up here. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna stitch down to three and a half again. Do this is like a quarter inch seam allowance. Actually, hmm. how should I do this? I don't want to hit that zipper tab. So maybe this is more of, yeah, well. We'll see. It's a little heavy. It's a heavy quarter inch. Um, I just hope that it walks. I haven't done clear vinyl on this machine yet, so. It wasn't too bad. We have a back stitch.
definitely going to have to jump this thing. Is this huge? Where is my hump jumper? Where did it go? Aiden, will you grab that for me real quick? It's on the floor on the other side, bud. Yeah, I got you. I'm on the fourth movie of Rocky. As we come up to this edge, ah, Seen that? That's some thick stuff right there, y'all. I'm gonna hand turn this guy. Uh. One more time. I'm gonna go back. Jumper back behind it again. Oh, shoot. Try to I should just cut my thread. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I've already back stitched. We'll go forward one more. I was gonna try to kind of pre-box those corners, but I'm not gonna do that. stitch down there. Something happened. Something happened, y'all. Again, this is my first time using this mono line. to four.
So I did something here last time, and it broke. It did something to the line. It snapped the line. So I'm giving it an extra little bit of durability. I'm pretty sure we skipped a bunch of stitches here too. Much better, much better. again Should have came down this way. So I should have stitched the last one from bottom to top. I should have did it, y'all.
fall on the floor again. It was with all the huffing and puffing. Cold. Then go to bed and go warm up. Warm up. Well, quiet. Right. Shoot. Thick. This is probably because I put that deck of the light in there. Extra thick, y'all. Remember I told you in the other video I didn't use Decaville light in my first two bags. So. We'll see. Watching this stuff, four people. <laughs> four people are watching me, so. Probably four very bored people. Would you agree, Aiden? doing if they're watching me they're bored they could be watching they could be bored they could be entertaining that's why they're being quiet maybe they're super they're probably like off. they're super authorized in the time super authorized they're super focused oh yeah they're focused all right wait for me to put my needle through my finger i'm focused on this movie i'm paying attention to nothing else. <laughs> Twenty six. That'd be awesome. That's gonna be my final. Twenty six. Yes. You think they're gonna score that much, huh? Yeah. The Dolphins. The Dolphins have improved. Okay. I believe you. I believe you there, Skippy. CJ's handmade LLC said, "How could we possibly be bored?" <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> The Steelers this weekend. Uh, Hopefully, a bad team so then we can finally get a second win. If we lose, it'll be our fourth straight loss. Really? Yeah. Ouch. We're one and three right now. I must you suck to be a Steelers fan, huh? Well, I'm, I ain't no bandwagon. You <laughs> aren't no bandwagon. No. We won to the Bills, lost to the Raiders, lost to the Bengals. What was the other team? I don't know. 
be the other team we lost. I don't know who we versed this weekend, but hopefully it's a bad team. Somehow the Cardinals are 4-0. I don't know how they're undefeated. Kylan Murray's good, though. Um, Chiefs are 2-2. Two and two. I thought they would be doing a lot better. Going to a third Super Bowl would be amazing for them. Well, can you believe the Cardinals are 4-0? Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. I never thought the Cardinals would be as amazing as the Cardinals. Alright, so... Put two lines of stitching in there just for extra support. Not like there's, I don't think they're gonna be carrying anything super heavy in this bag, but you never know. And so, since I folded this one to this side, I'm gonna do the same on this side as well. Hey, Dad. What? You wanna know why the Steelers are so bad this season? Why? It's really because of Ben. I mean, he could have retired with so much money, but he had to play one more season for a $15 million contract with the Steelers. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, he hurt, he, you know, he got injured last season because of his elbow. Right. And that's why he can't throw as far anymore. That's why he's throwing all short passes. Uh. That. He hurt his elbow last season, and he can't throw as far as he used to. Gotcha. Well, that could do it for sure. Oh, yeah. I don't know who our quarterback's going to be. Please don't be Mason Rudolph, at least. I mean, he's not good. If it's our other one, I'm fine. Or maybe we'll trade backup for another backup. I don't know. Hopefully. I don't know, dude. But... I'm definitely going to be ignoring Uncle Georgie's lawn at this point. Yeah. Cowboys have a better record than the Steelers. I don't know what that was. Then I have to mow his lawn outside and he gets to pop a chair and drink a beer with an umbrella under and just watch me and tell me what to do the whole time. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah. Sex. Damn. Yeah. Can't do that one too short. Let's see who he wants, please. Yeah. I think we take on the Okay, game. this is the roster for this club. Hey Siri, who do the Pittsburgh Steelers play? The Steelers played the Broncos on Sunday. Okay, yeah, we're one and three, they're three and one. Oh my god. Those are my good scissors, man. We're versing the Broncos this weekend, man. Cool. No, I said cool. Yeah. If Drew Locke's playing, I'll be happy. Because I think we're going to I 
preventing he's preventing himself from being in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. He was like at an eighty some percent chance. By the way he's going now, he's going down to a seventy or sixty. Yeah. He's not gonna go to the Hall of Fame if he's like this. All I gotta say is that we please we may at least make the playoffs. Honestly, Cowboys, Dak. They're one of my Super Bowl contestants. I definitely think they're probably going to go to the Super Bowl this year. Um, Chiefs, I think they'll make it to the playoffs barely by a clutch game. But I don't think they'll win just because of how their season's starting. You don't know. It could be better. Cardinals, Jeff, yeah, for now. I don't know. Mm. Don't you, wouldn't you just feel like that's lucky? What, 4 0? Yeah, the Cardinals. No. Cardinals definitely gonna make the playoffs. Um, Super Bowl, no. Ravens, I think, will make it to the. are one of my Super Bowl contestants. Bucks, definitely one of my Super Bowl contestants. Um, Packers, another playoff contestant. Not so sure about. Contender. Uh, contender, uh, Not sure about Super Bowl, though. Um,. Raiders, Derek Carr, good quarterback, but last time I watched him, he he threw way too many picks. Um, if he keeps doing that, no playoffs, no Super Bowl, but he's doing pretty good now, so I gotta say he's definitely playoff territory. Um, Bengals, Bengals, they're not doing bad. Well, let me ask the Bengals a record. Hey Siri, what are the Bengals' record? The Bengals are three and one right now. Yeah, Bengals are three and one, one win because of us. Um, Bengals definitely starting off to a good season. I think just Joe Burrow's rookie season, even though he still is a rookie, I think he just didn't understand how much more serious the NFL players are than college dad, mm -hmm. and how he, you know, how he ran his college plays in his first season. Mm -hmm. Those didn't work. Um, I think that's why they did so terrible last season. This season, I think he finally worked it out, and they're going to do good. Now, Jaguars. Um, Trevor Lawrence's first season. All right, let's turn this bad boy out, y'all. I'm not sure. Are you finished? No, I still got the strap, but I don't want to turn the bag. Yeah. Jags, I don't know. I'm turn the bag real quick. Trevor Lawrence is decent. Throws like okay, the Jets though. Zach Wilson is, is not. So yeah, we probably definitely didn't need to put the deck of the light in here. So laggy on camera. Oh boy. Um You wanna know some dad? Yeah, you do me a favor. Yeah. Well, give me that hair dryer in that bottom drawer. Okay. You want to know some that? Can I tell you something? Damn it. Bottom drawer stuff. I was... I was actually... I was extremely hyped. I was... I was hyped for the Jet fans this season to get a really good quarterback, Zach Wilson. Mm -hmm. But he's throwing too many picks, man. The Jets are just like they were last season, even with a better quarterback. They need better wide receivers and defense. They're also going to get blown out. Always. Um, Ravens, Lamar, obviously going to make the playoffs, like always. Browns, playoffs, yes. You realize you're only three weeks into the 17, 18 week football season, right? Oh, yes, I know, but I can okay. already tell who's going to make the playoffs and who isn't. 100%. Trust me, Dad, I have my ways. You have your ways. Oh, I have my ways, all right. He has his ways, y'all. Yes, I have my ways. Even though it's the third, no, this is the fifth week. We're coming into the fifth week of NFL. Is it already that? Yeah, we're in the fifth week. I know, it's going by fast. So much I don't watch it. 
Yeah, you, you only watch the Bucks. I watch every team because I have my first year of doing fantasy football, and my team is off to a great start. Sucks that I lost last week, but I'm winning this week live right now, actually. <sighs> Let's keep it that way. Then. I mean, I'm like 3-3 three and three right now. No, I'm 3-2. and two. I lost 2-1-3. after you're done doing what you're doing. Because I'm going to check um, the teams. That is horrible. Why is it not sticking? Can I glue over there, please? Yeah. I'm really frustrated with this thing. Oh, trust me, I probably... I don't feel your pain, but if I was doing that, I would probably just throw it all away and call it a day. If the Chiefs can get to three and two, I'll consider them as a maybe for the playoffs. But how Patrick Mahomes has been playing, I don't know if it's been Patrick Mahomes. I've just been seeing highlights. But I mean, good for Chargers fans. I mean, you won against a two time in a row Super Bowl champion team. Good for you guys. But um, Chiefs fans feel bad. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is only 23 and already has his face on an NFL Madden cover. Twice. Madden 22 that I have shares with Tom Brady. But still, only being... Isn't that crazy, Dad? Mm -hmm. Only being 23 years old, carrying your team twice to the Super Bowl and winning it, and then getting your face on the NFL Madden cover twice? That's insane. That's amazing. And you Chiefs fans, you, you guys are going to win a lot more Super Bowls. Maybe even more than the Steelers, I mean. He's only 23, Tom Brady's. Big Ben's like, what, 40-something? 40 43? 42? I don't know. Maybe 41. Oh, my God. Pissing me off. What is? Oh, God. Oh! <gasps> So then, any NFL season 14 weeks? It was 17 weeks, now it's 18 weeks. Oh. They added a game and took away a preseason oh, yeah. game. Oh my gosh, Rocky. Alright, I'm gonna let this sit here. And. It's too hard to worry, actually it's been bad. Can't sleep. I don't want to sleep. I have off tomorrow, so. Hey. Okay, y'all, let me check my fantasy team. Ready to check it down? Okay. <laughs> Checking to see if you were awake. It's me against the Phoenix Pigeons, and I'm winning 26 points to 10 points. Let's see my team. Alright, so I have 
this is my starting lineup. Tom Brady, Zeke, James Robinson, DK Metcalf, Hunter Renfro, Austin, who I gotta put Gronk back in. Or no, is Gronk still injured from his hip? I have no idea. Okay, then I have Austin Hooper as my tight end. Trey Sherman, Steelers defense sucks. And guess what? Bucks defense got laid off, Dad. No one picked up Bucks defense. So I picked that up, and I have Young Ho Koo as kicker. Bench, Aaron Rodgers, Josh Jacobs, D Javante Williams, Chase Claypool, LaVisca, Sherencia Jr., whatever his name is, Gronk, and then Steelers defense, and I have Jake. Is there another roll of tape like this over there? Thinner? <gasps> Let me see, sir. Just trying not to move the chairs. Like over here? Oh, yeah. Right around here. Oh, no, sir. Yes, sir. I'm just gonna look. I'm thinking of looking over the line. All right, folks. We get the strap done and we're done. He ain't having it tonight. Oh, still gotta turn that back, but. I guess. Let's see here. How many points did DK get me? DK got me 26 points. Holy crap. Oh, dang. I mean, Seahawks must have done well if DK got me. Or if Matt got me. I just want to see my own. I want to see the scoreboard. This guy next week. Let me see if he has. This guy's player, so he's definitely. What I tell you? What? What? Saying stuff like that. So you just disconnect it. Figured it disconnected. That's usually what happens when I go live. It'll just disconnect on you. bad for this guy that I'm bursting next week on my fantasy team. Why? Russell Wilson's out because of finger injury. Why do you feel bad for him? You should be lucky. Oh, I am lucky. But I feel bad because he's... I, I don't know if he'll win or lose. I don't know if he's back up TV. I feel bad for Seahawks fans, though. That's... The only reason you guys walk to the range is because of that. That's the reason. Oh yeah, Dad. Did you see the really cool um double pun in the Seahawks game? No. Do you want to see it real fast? I'm I'm working, buddy. Um, Looking right, so later. Pretty much the punt gets blocked, and it goes over to the ten yard line. Eagles punter picks it up, runs a couple yards, and punts it again. 
but gets it off this time in bounds. So was it a fumble? Yeah, it was a fumble, and he picked it back up, and then. Yeah, as long as he didn't no, cross the line of scrimmage. As long as he didn't cross the line of scrimmage, he could kick it. We'll save him and show it to you. I think that's the rules. I don't know. It looked like he was going to run with it. It was a fake punt run. Oh, he got a flag for it, though. Oh, that's not. Yeah, a flag for it. Black on uniforms, the Cowboys. Dumb crap is dripping, that shit. You need to go to bed now. Bye. Aiden Anthony. Yes, sir. Bedtime now. Phone on the charger. Phone on the charger. Strap is ridiculous. Bedtime. Time to put my mat in. <laughs> this is gonna be a long one. This is gonna be a long one.
Looks good. So that's that. Nice strap. Super nice strap. Let's see if we can uh Let's see if we can remember how to make our crossbody now. Go through here, come back out here. Come back in here. Yeah. 
here. Here. Sorry, I'm just playing this out. Put that on that end. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. So. Pretty thick, y'all. Hopefully, we can get through it. I got faith. I have faith in this machine. Close to this thing as we can. Might have a little too close, y'all. <laughs> little too close. All right, let's try this again. Well, I'm pulling away this time. So probably should have did that last time. Interesting. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. So then we put our other clip on, facing the outside. We're gonna go through here. I'm gonna go through this side of your adjustable strap. So, get your other end. Make sure your hook is facing outside of the side you want it. Then fold it. And then tuck it in. Oh, you just did the other one. You don't have to do the X if you don't want to. You can do a box, you can do a rivet, you can do whatever. What do I do? Here we go. Oops. Crossbody strap. Now we just gotta turn this bag and we'll go to bed. Let's just turn this bag and go to bed. Let's do this. Let's turn this bag and go to bed. Hopefully that glue. Man. Really, dis uh. really disappointed in that glue.
Photograph it. Take some pictures. Super dope. Really excited about it. I think my my uncle's new wife is gonna, or my cousin's new wife is gonna love it. All right, that's it, y'all. That's all I got. So, thanks for sticking around for those two late nights. Hope you guys have a blessed weekend. Really wish I could have made it out to that so magical thing in Orlando this weekend, but with the knee surgery, that wasn't happening. So, yeah, all right. Well, that's it, guys. See you guys.